Hi and welcome back to Red Rev 1917. We're doing something a bit different today. We're in North Wales, Snowdonia National Park, and we are on the Festiniog Railway line. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump in the cab, uh, release the brakes, and we'll get motoring. Take the handbrake off, and away we go. So where is the locomotive, you're asking me? There is none. There is no locomotive. Not at the front, not at the rear. We're just riding some trade coaches. Slave freight truck coaches at like that. And we're taking them down the line. From here, at Dult, all the way down to Mainford. Uh, purely gravity fed train. So we're gonna get going. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the download and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the railway, it's the railway itself. So I am going to have to do some videos on this as I go along. So this is um, a download that you can purchase from a website called sprailways.co.uk. I will include a link. Uh, they do a couple of different routes, they do the Talon route and they do the Festinio and Welsh Highland route phase one with phase two due imminently. Now I am just a customer of this line, um, I came across it by accident. I was actually looking uh, about the Festinio railway itself uh, and I came along, came down this for a download for train simulator and I thought why not? why not indeed so the best thing about this download is that all proceeds go to the Festino and Welsh Highland Railway um, just done that as that and it is a literally a small endeavor that has been done On that so phase this is phase one which is a festinio railway line which runs from port maddock to a little town called blauna festinio so uh, the route um was originally a slate mine line taking slate from blauna down to the port at port maddock um, it didn't last long and it closed Due to being unprofitable um, in the early 19th century. Uh, in the late 50s, early 60s, um, people decided that tourism was a thing and they wanted a tourist railway. So they reopened the line from Blaunau to Port Maddock and it was called the Festiniog Railway. It's a little navigated one with steam trains they've got a local wax uh, which is at Boston Lodge just outside Port Maddock uh, I don't think they allow visitors to actually walk around the lodge um, as a matter of course I think they made it up to the occasional open day but you can't actually go through because it is a working um, yard uh, and where they build their own carriages and maintain the locomotives some of the locomotives on the line um, are the original ones that would have run back in the late 19th early 20th century. They have a one diesel as well. Uh, unfortunately diesel is not in the download. I am keeping my eye on to see whether or not it gets released. I would love the diesel to be honest with you. Uh, probably though, to be fair, it probably wouldn't have much marketable Because it's the steam trains that are on the way, really. So, um, it's a well worth a good day out there. I uh, do that. But let's carry on talking about the Welsh Highland route. So, it's a one man band. Um, I, but the great thing is, you don't need an awful lot of DLC for it. Um, Honestly, you only need, you don't actually need any. 
uh, you can do without a lot of them and it will run on its own without any other DLC being reported uh, that's because a lot of the assets for this line have been pre-made specifically for this line by the development team I call it a team I think it was a couple of guys um, so but uh, the more downloads get the better it looks now I'm running three of the downloads so I've got the uh, EU and UK local asset pack and the Settled Skyline line and the 50s Riviera extension one so those are the three I've got um, you can improve that with the western lines of Scotland, Woodhead, Falmouth um, and Memories of Murdy uh, but that's all you need to have the full experience uh, it is relatively cheap I think it costs about it was definitely less than a tenner uh, put it this way it was definitely less than a tenner uh, I will put a link to the website on here so this is phase one as I've said phase two is due out imminently and phase two is the w Welsh Highland Railway line which is from Porth Marrow um, through um, Beth Gellert and the Aberglass Lane down to Carnarvon on the coast uh, it's a lovely little line uh, they've got some very very unique locomotives in that one they've got uh, three, two or three Bayer Garrets uh, which they've Im they imported from a copper mine or gold mine maybe uh, from South Africa uh, the most powerful navigating locomotives certainly in the UK if not in the world uh, and that line is well worth it so as soon as that gets released I will be purchasing that phase two as well from the website I cannot wait I spent many a happy day traveling on that um, so we're going to go, I'm not going to talk too much about that at the moment we're going to talk more about the Vestinial Railway so once we get through Tanny Belch here um, I'm going to give you a little walk through the map I right, need to reduce speed now Tanny Belch was actually flat so I need to make sure I have enough momentum to run through it it's quite tough to control this train because if you break you release the brakes the rear of the train catches up with you and let's be honest with you we do not want to be derailing it down there thank you very much because if we de derail down there we're going to hurt ourselves so I'm going to be speeding, I'm used to, I'm going to accept I'm going to speed but it's just about making sure I don't speed too much that I actually end up derailing I need to make sure that we keep it rolling and I need to have that momentum to go through Tanny Bosch we will pass one of the locomotives in Tanny Bosch which is waiting for the line they're waiting for us to clear the line so they can actually go past so I'm going to release the brakes completely now um, and go head down into Tiny Belt and I am going to have to time this perfectly because there's some points as well and you will jump across the points I'm trying to derail if we do it too fast but at the same time don't want to do it too slow otherwise we won't get through Tanya Bosch so I'm going to ease off the brakes completely let it get a little bit of momentum up we are very flat now actually so I'll just let it roll Safe from that version flat, we're on a one in one in one percent incline. 
So there's a, a very elective mix of signals on you on, on the real Festino Railway um, and they've done a really really good job at um, capturing them all. Um, a lot of the ones on the railway as well, especially when you get down to Port Maddox, are actual real weapon signals either. They're just for display purposes, to capture the atmospheric part of it. So here we go, we're heading in to Tannibal's. So, other points, and there we go, and that is a double Farley which the Festinio Railway are famous for. So, I'm going to look at all that. I'm going to release the brakes shortly. Even though I'm speeding, I'm going to have to release the brakes to make sure we carry on through. So there we go. And that is a cafe. Well worth a good cup of tea there. Um, if you don't want to do the full line, and to be honest with you, there's not a lot in Blau now. Um, you're probably best off. What I would, what I usually do, is to take the full trip from Port Maddox to Blau now. Um, stay on the train um, with a Freedom of the Rail ticket. Uh, head back from Blau now and get off at um, either Dult or Tandy Belch. Um There's a lot of little forest walks around here. Uh, a few nature trails for the younger ones. Uh, some nice meadows as well uh, and it's good to get interest back into nature every now and again at the moment because of covid um, the railway does need our support more than ever it is a charity um, all the staff are volunteers uh, it would never break even um, it, it is such a lot of rolling stock lot of um, Parent way to look after uh, signal crossing, level crossings, signalling, um, it really does need our support. And the great thing is, all proceeds of this download goes to the railway. Uh, so, um, even if you don't really drive steam trains, and I don't drive steam trains, I think this is the only steam line I've actually got. Um, I'm more of a diesel and electric kind of guy. Um, but it's worth buying just because a it's absolutely beautiful and it is absolutely beautiful you can't say otherwise it's a really good accurate representation they really captured the atmosphere I've no idea whether it's accurate to the finest vivid uh, but to me I'm not bothered about that I'm not that anal for want of a better word to me I'd rather have as long as it looks and feels like the real thing, that's good enough for me. And this certainly ticks those boxes for me. So, we've got five miles to go. And they reckon it's going to take us half an hour. Um, it is quite a shallow descent at this point. So I've got no brakes on. And I'm literally just keeping it going now. Make sure it's rolling down the hill. I am slowing down. The question is, have I got enough speed uh, and momentum to get me down the hill? We, shall, we can, but only find out. Um, so there we go. I think I know that I know the volunteers. If you're a volunteer, the volunteers do this line, do this um, once a year for charity. Um, I have seen pictures of this gravity train in there. I don't think they let members of the public do it, unfortunately. Uh, I think probably health and safety, there'd be some red tape and insurance implications that like just would not be worth their time in letting members of the public do it. Right, right after enough talking, let's just sit back and enjoy the view. So we are in the forest at the moment, so there's not actually a lot of view, uh, but we will be coming out of the forest very shortly, I think. When you look at this, and the amount of work that's gone into this download, 
or the price and then you look at the latest dovetail offering which is um, the Vigate extension for the London Brighton railway line route where you get one station you get literally get one extra station and that's on sale at eight pound on the scene store at the moment uh, for one station and a little bit of track this is about a 15 mile line just this section from Blau now to Port Maddock the line to from Port Maddock up to Carnarvon is a good 20 miles probably even more I uh, don't actually know what price point that's going to come out at the phase two um, but to be honest with you uh, I really wish that he would actually consider doing like uh, pay what you feel it's worth because I would pay 20 quid easily for this um, but I've only paid whatever I paid so I will be making a donation to fest the new railway on top of my pastures and ultimately that's where the money goes anyway so right I don't think I've got enough momentum to get me down this part of the line I think we're gonna roll run out because it's getting shallower not steeper I haven't got me I think no there we go find the handbrake put bunches all the ch chucks together and when you release the handbrake it gives you a kick of speed there we go and I think I may need to be doing that all the way down this section just to try and get some acceleration going and away we go it's working back up to six miles an hour The physics behind it is all the chucks put together when you apply the brake. When you release the brake, all that extra tension um, tilts the train forward slightly. Very accurately well done. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Still not sure if I've got enough momentum, but we shall see. Now if you're not impressed by the work that's gone into this then you're a very hard man to impress or woman to impress although for my demographics on YouTube it is 99% of men who watch my channel but for the 1% of you out there women as well um, and there we've got the little village down at the bottom picking up speed again now and we're picking up the descent so I don't need to do that anymore we've survived that section and we can carry on heading down do a little halt let's see what this one's called 
all these are request stops. Tally Bell Street is really the only main stop. So that's Class Holt. I suppose that looks like there's a little forestry section where you can have a little warden around. Through this cutting. And again, we are heading down to Moonfall. This is actually a very prototypical uh, thing that they used to do. So they would get a horse before the age of steam. Horses would pull the, the trucks up to the mine. They'd fill them with slate and then let gravity take them back downhill again. So I'm going to have to apply a bit of brake. Just apply the little bit of brake. Only two, the line speed increased to 20 miles an hour, so then let it take some more speed up. Um, you can drive locomotives on this DLC as well, and I will be doing some videos, but I just thought this is a bit of a fun one to do. And the slow pace and the lack of that I need to actually do it means I can actually enjoy the scenery. Uh, on the steam trains, I find myself that busy um, making sure the boiler pressure is maintained, I haven't got enough water, etc. I don't always get a chance to enjoy the scenery. When I was on this gravity train, I can just enjoy the scenery and appreciate the amount of effort and work that's gone into it and how it looks and feels like. I'm in back in Snowdonia on the real Festival Railway. So I'm gonna have to apply some more brake. Didn't like that. Bit jumpy. I'm going to play the brake quite a lot now. Three miles to go. over the valley in between the trees right. 
the lights begin to flash out a bit again but I just need to keep the speed reduce the speed down I've got this far I do not want to derail Just gonna turn this off and get a screenshot for Instagram. Speed again, but as I've not got a speedometer, don't think it can really give me too many bad points. Your passing point. Uh, we got man. No idea if I pronounced that anywhere near correct. No way I'm going to get down to 5 miles an hour. No way on this earth I'm going to get down to 5 miles an hour. I'm just going to have to hold on and hope for the best. I don't know whether or not they, tr they get down to 5 miles an hour when they do it in real life or not, but there's no way I'm going to be getting down to 5 miles an hour. Around this curve, I left that level crossing a little bit late for my liking. I thought I was going to crash into there for a second. Right, this could be a little bit hairy. We shall see.
Get off the track. Silly man. Right. Just ease it down for the last mile now. I have no idea what stopping distance I need. I just think I'm just going to break late on chart hard and hope I don't do well. So you see these gaps, I imagine those little bit few gaps, it would, wouldn't be there if I had all the DLC. But you don't need it to enjoy the route. If you're a vivid counter then maybe you do, but for the casual observer, I think it's really fantastic. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Right, half a mile to go. I've got a red signal. I've got a red signal, I'm right, I'll pass it. passing the signal early where I should have stopped. Is he going to stop or is he just going to push me all the way back? There we go. We've crashed. So we clearly missed the signal. Uh, I'll go back. Game over. I enjoyed that so really really enjoyed that a lot that was something completely different um, it was a lot of fun I hope you enjoyed watching that video and I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it uh, as I say links to the website where you can download it will be in the comments below um, you will now see three boxes a video YouTube things that you're gonna like my playlist with all my train sim, uh, train sim loader and train sim world games in there and my profile where you can click on subscribe and get notifications for when I upload new videos. I will be doing more from the Fest in New York uh, but for now thanks for watching take care bye bye.